Hello there, Pokemon trainers. I'm Trainer Connor, and it's time for week three of the ILL. This week, we are facing off against Dylos of Sinnoh, or Sinnoh, and I'm excited because I haven't battled him before, as I is actually new to this league, uh, so he actually doesn't know how to team plan yet. But that's okay. He's learning, and um, and so going into this, I uh, brought Choice Scarf Electivire again. It worked out pretty well last week. If you haven't seen that battle, make sure you check it out. But Choice Scarf Electivire is going to work out here. Uh, Charizard X, Glaceon for the first time this week, Duskinora as well, and then Forges, which has aromatherapy, and Sableye to burn a few things. Now, if you look at my opponent's side, he has his own Charizard. It's a Charizard Y, so uh, Charizard S and Charizard Y are going to be in the same battle. Awesome! And then we have Archaeops to deal with, Leafeon, uh, Lachios, Gengar, and Empoleon. So, I mean, in reality, I was expecting him to lead out with Empoleon, because mostly Empoleon is a physical wall to get up Stealth Rocks, go with Ice Beams, go with Scald, get that 10% burn, or 100% if it's used against you, because holy moly, that happens to me a lot. And so I, f I figured starting out with a Lekavar would be ideal, so let's get started here. Um, I'm going to start out with Generago, and Zai is going to actually start out with Charizard, which is fantastic. I wasn't really expecting that, but it's okay by me because I have the typing matchup. I figured he might switch out into Lachios fearing the electric type move, so I go with a Volt switch. It's not very effective, but that will give me some switching initiative. Going to Forges to uh, scare him out again with a Moon Blast, and he actually goes into Empoleon. But I expected him to switch out again, so I go with a Wish this time. And I can hopefully, uh, if you know, for some reason Empoleon has like Flash Cannon, I can dodge it and then get my HP back from the Wish. But he sets up Stealth Loss which I don't have a rapid uh, spinner on this team, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Now it's the time to Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance up. I figure he might have Ice Beam, in which case I can live at full HP. So I felt very com comfortable there. He brings the Archaeops, and as long as I put it at Defeatist range, I'm okay with that, and we actually take him out in one shot, so that's pretty awesome. That's a one shot hit there, and then I go with an outrage, not expecting this to be a QKO as it does end up being. And then I was like, okay, maybe he's an offensive Polion, or he is a specially defensive variant because he could, he could not kick that outrage all too well there. Um, and Ice Beam, I take that really well as well. So, uh, here's Leafeon. He gets destroyed. So, uh, if you look at this battle, it looks like Zai isn't prepared for my Charizard guys. He finally decides to bring back in Lachios. I was like, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for an Outrage. If I hit myself, that's okay. I can go into someone else if Charizard X goes down. But I managed to hit another Outrage. So, that's another Pokemon down for Charizard X. I end up switching, or no, I end up staying in again. I snap out of confusion. I was expecting Gengar to have a Focus Sash, like most of them do end up carrying, but that's not what he has, so that's another kill. We're just, we're just destroying Pokemon left and right. That's fantastic. Now, unfortunately, and I think he should have done this initially, uh, 
He brings in Charizard Y, so we have a epic Charizard X versus Charizard Y showdown here, in which, yeah, I hit myself in confusion, which is long overdue. I was expecting to hit myself earlier, but now's the time to do it. Um, I go back into Generado, go the Volk Switch. I don't know why I did that, actually. Um, I would have just gone for a Thunderbolt and outright KO him. But that's not happening. I get to bring in a uh, Victimizer, the Guskinor, who can take actually a, a essentially a Sun Boosted Flamethrower. And I just want to put some more ship damage with a Shadow Sneak priority. And then we can go back into Electivire. I, I don't know why I did that, uh, to be honest with you, but that happens. So I go back into Generago, and all I have to do is just click Thunderbolt. And we can KO Charizard Y. And then his last Pokemon is Empoleon, who's also weak to Thunderbolt. So, yes, this was a really short battle. So it looks like Zai, he has, he has a lot to learn from uh, in terms of what Pokemon he should bring, what he should be prepared for. We don't even have to use Glaceon or Sableye in this battle. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but at the same time, just having Charizard X and Electivire and a little bit of help from Victimizer just pretty much seal the battle for us. And that's actually our first victory. So now we are uh we are uh one and two heading on to week four, which I don't know who I'm facing yet, but I'll find out eventually and we'll have that battle up here shortly. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoy this awesome match, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys all later. Have a great day, trainers. Bye.